Hi, I'm Joe with Office Solutions, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage and edit your address book on your Sharp Copier for all of your scanning destinations. Okay, so here we are at uh, the desktop computer, and the best way to get your to your address book and edit it is to go to the embedded web page of the copier. Uh, in order to do that, you need to have the IP address, and you can just type it into the address link here in any browser. If you don't have the IP address, you can refer to our other videos here. There's one that says um, how to obtain your IP address, and that will help you get the IP address of your copier. So at the address link right here at the top, you're just going to type in whatever your IP address is. This is ours. And here's the copier that I want to edit. From this page, you can go right to the address book. And as you can see, there aren't any emails in here currently. So if I just wanna create a new one, I can hit add right here. And there's just a few things I need to fill in in order to create a scan to email destination. The address name is what you need to start with. So we can put Joe in there. And then the initial I always just put in there so that the machine will alphabetize names correctly. And then if you scroll down, it's automatically set to email for you. And then new address is what we're gonna do. Uh, you can just put anything in here, someone at hotmail.com, whatever your email address might be. Then you can change the compression ratios and things, but uh, you're welcome to just leave that as default. That will work just fine. You wanna make sure there is a checkbox here and set as default used because this Joe profile does need a default email address. You can have multiple email addresses for one user if needed, but at least one has to be default. At this point, I can hit submit, the uh, blue submit button here, and that will just save my progress and save this profile in the address book. But if I have a list of emails that I need to add to the copier, I can hit submit and register next. So it's going to save this, and then it automatically sets me up with a new profile to be created so that I can go through and fill in everybody in the company. That way they can all scan. Once I'm done, I can go back to the address book. You can see the address that is created. Um, if you ever need to go back and just edit this user, you can click right on the name you can change the name and change the initial. You can see here is the email that is saved for this profile. If you need to change that, you just come right down here and go to address one. That's the one that's already saved in here. You'll see it populate and you can make the changes there. And then just remember to hit submit when you're done. If you need to delete a user from the address book, you can just put a check mark right next to their name, come down here and hit delete. Other than that, that's about it. Uh, if there's anything else as far as like scanning to a network folder or uh, any other destination, just give us a call or contact your IT. We can help further with that. It's, it's uh, not quite as straightforward because you need to have a folder to scan to, but this is the place where you wanna edit and manage all of those addresses once they're in there. Thanks for watching, I hope it's helpful.